Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Okay, so uh, when you, and, and, and I, I want to ask you about, I, I don't want to stay on the Megan thing. Everybody asks you the same question. Do you get tired of answering the same damn question? Well, I haven't been talking in a while. And the thing is, okay, you know, I look I'm back at some interviews. I'm here to always clear my name. Like, so that's why I was able to talk. You know when what? you think about Megan Thee Stallion, when y'all came together, how many did she have? 100,000 followers when y'all first got I think together? She had probably like 120,000 followers. 120,000 fo- yeah. followers. When she, was taking that picture with Jay Z. Mm-hmm. How many followers did she have? She had over a million followers then. But that was that was during the time you guys had worked yep. with her to get there. Yep. That mm-hmm. was uh Oh, we built it up. Yeah, I we seen the I seen the build up. The yep. build up was crazy. Yep. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like when you done it, do you think that she and you, you know, you could have got, you should have got, had a closer relationship with her. Yeah, you know, she's my first big artist. So you see what I'm saying? So, so, but this is where the T. Ferris come back, and I hate to make him the theme of the night, but it's just what it is, you know. Him knowing, keeping the division between, I bought him a new truck just to drive her around in, you know. He next having them day, conversation. You know, next night, now all of a sudden they riding in the front seat mm-hmm. with each other. He picking up. He not even telling me he going to go get her. He going to go. He going to the family functions. He ain't telling me nothing, you know. He all everything was about him positioning himself to where he can get in her head and like turn her, you know, turn make it seem like, you know. It was me against her, you know, when it never was me against her. I never had no issues with her. We had, like, one situation where me and her mom, you know what I'm saying, got into an argument one time. And uh, that's just because two strong-headed people just met up. It happens, you know what I'm saying? We apologize, stuff after that. You know, I know I'm only telling you this because, you know, I heard from around the way T. Ferris was trying to use that as a reason for why she didn't yeah. want to, mm-hmm. I don't believe that because, you know, me and her mom made up and we apologized to each other. But other than that... We never had no situation with Megan. I never told her no to nothing. We gave her every single thing she wanted. I never, you know, stole money from her or did nothing. You know what I'm saying? I try to treat her like she was like my little sister or something. You know what I'm saying? So when all this stuff happened, I literally was like the confused person. You know, and they knew I was gonna be like did that. You, I mean, did you have had you I, you had to have some paperwork on this? You still wouldn't be yeah, in a yeah, life. Yeah, we still we had everything going on. You know. I, I, I How do you cut out of a deal though? Let me let me Man, let me listen, ask that. I, I got to ask on. that. I, I want to say you know shout out to my boy Devon Stevens. You know I know he you know they I know he probably don't want me to say his name right now. You know but at the end of the day. Man, they really would have got me good had, you know, he kind of, you know, told me. Stepped what was, in and helped. Yeah, you know, I came in from Miami one day, and he just pulled me to the side and was like, yo, bro, they finna cut you out. You know what I'm saying? He could see it. Yeah, he was like, yo, they finna squeeze you out. They finna squeeze. And I'm like, what you mean squeeze me out, bro? I'm happy. We in Miami. Whoop the whoop. What is you talking about? He mm-hmm. said, hey, man, mm-hmm. they finna squeeze you out. And I Double just, check everything. Yes. So when he told me this. I'm like, shit, what the, <laughs> squeeze me out. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking we moving secure, forward together. Right. I'm not even understanding this a problem. So, you know, of course I gotta go talk to my consultant back home, Phil Ward, the OG, Lil J. I go tell him about this conversation that I had with this guy. And you know, he starts to tell me, yeah, he's been here and well, and now it's getting real. Now I'm starting to see all the funny shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, eyes open. All this, and I'm just like. So you had already contacted, well, not Jay Prince, but Lil J, the, the son. No, not the son, the dad. The dad. You already had talked to him. As soon as you heard that, you saw as, as soon as I heard that, I went and gave him a call because I'm like, I don't even know who to call if they finna. Because he in. knows everything about the business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, so I didn't he know nobody tell. else to call. Right. You know? So yeah, called him and he kind of gave me the heads up what was going on. And, and how to already, deal with it. Yeah, they got, you know, they got, Megan got so mad at Devon, she like, you know, started talking crazy to him, you know what I'm saying? Getting mad because they told me, you know what I'm saying? It was like, yo. You know what I'm saying? They really was. They You're really, really trying to take you for. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Use I'm, you like, I'm yeah. like, wow, but what did I do? You know what I'm take saying? Your, take your, all yeah. your resources that you dedicated to that project, yeah. dealing with them, and say, yeah. you know what? I'm I'm, I'm out of here. I'm yeah. not going to even try to. Would, would T-Fire, they have, T-Fire, oh, T-Fire, let me ask you this. Would all they sense? have cut you all the way out if they could have? Oh, yeah. You <laughs> see was, what I'm saying? Was, like, was, nothing. Was, I don't want. <laughs> that, was, that was the plan. That like, was the plan. No more talking to you yeah, at all. Bro, it was like, you know, you know, that was the plan. The plan was to go over, you know, go over Rock Nation, whatever, get with the big lawyers and stuff, and, you know, boot me out. Do do what they doing. But, what they, you know but Jay Z on the other end, or whoever his people are, right. nobody was trying to even contact you out of respect because you were on the paperwork, or they just didn't show them the paperwork? Nah, they weren't. They weren't. They didn't have no respect for me, bro. They was coming in. Um, to take everything, you know what I'm saying? They was wow. trying to get the contract voided. They was trying to get out the contract, 
and and Hun T Ferris was gonna ride off into the sun. But how did that make you and feel then, about them? Is that just it's just business? Nah, I just I, just, you, I, just, I, I mean I just, I'm talking I, about Rock Nation. Rock Nation. Yeah, uh, like how do you feel about the way that they did business uh, outside of what you already would you know dealing with? I just felt like you know I guess that's what the big labels do. They come in, they let you build it all up. They come in and, and find the smallest mm -hmm. thing, tell you it's a problem. Like in her case, if you and this ain't me making it up. Is you know she say. Oh, uh, her publishing. I'm like, her publishing? You know what I'm saying? This time, I don't know nothing about a publishing or mm -hmm. nothing. So, how, you know, so this, she say Rock Nation came and showed her that, oh, I was taking too much of her publishing. Oh, okay, well, that's an easy, easy fix. Easy fix. You know what I'm right. talking about? You can come and switch it. You know what I'm saying? You're a big star now, whatever. We have to do what we have to do. Nah, they was like, nah. They So they made it look like. She had it in her mind. She wanted to yeah, go already. she wanted to go. She wanted to how shit on me. How did you stop me. it? I didn't stop it. Well, I stopped it because oh, I had you to stopped call it. Jay. Yeah, I called, you stopped I called it. Lil J, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and it stopped. To, and had to, yeah, had to, <laughs> we had to slow it down because they was moving fast. Yeah, they was coming. It slowed they down. Was, they was coming. Woo, they was coming. They was coming strong. You Man, know how I'm important saying? is it to have a, a guy like Lil J or J Prince Man, that you can really call? important because, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that when uh, it's like a... Well, you know when you try to when somebody is bullying you like or finna like do something that like that to you and uh you know it's cool to be able to call somebody that can kind of just you know get in there and handle those type of situations for you now um you know granted everybody they ain't got that kind of relationship with mm -hmm. luckily enough for me i did and uh like i said i always i always wanted to share what i did with houston with houston people i understood that i used the blueprint you know what I'm saying? From the little you days, from it. the from the Swisher House, yeah. yes, you see. So I had no problem with just one. I wanted to share fifteen on one, Megan, everybody with everybody. Mm -hmm. T Ferris and, and 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 Megan, they had other uh, other right. ideas. Yeah. They and that's how it is. Shit. You're gonna you know always have people around <laughs> yeah. you no, who don't have it. the same yeah. vision as you. Right. But what I look on in any situation that we go through in life, right. what you're going through, what any of us go through, that it go it happens for a reason. God put us through different things for a reason to learn from it yeah. and to make you stronger for other things that will Ooh, occur Lord. later on. Hey, she preaching. Like, yeah, you I understand th what I mean? I, I understand. I just understand why it haven't happened to me. You know, it's one of them things because, <laughs> no, because that was like one I of the first it. time in my life where I made a plan for something and it went exactly as planned. Like, you know what I'm talking yeah. about from how it started to finish? Yeah. It went exactly as planned. And for no reason, it just, it just they decided, hey, man, we... You done do it, but you, you learned know. a lot more about the business after that. Yeah, I did. I learned. You yeah, see I what know. I mean? I, that, I, I, if that didn't happen, you right. wouldn't have been now, on that track let, to learn. Right, right, I want right, to ask about right, the first. That was the first artist officially that you had put on the. Well, no, she wasn't the first artist. Who was she the just first? the biggest one. The first artist was uh, some guys out of my neighborhood. And you, you know just you yeah, brought yeah, them like on. I, said, I just came on. Yeah, guys out of my neighborhood. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.